Welcome to Understanding the Game's um, latest playlist. I'm Rico TV. Um, now this jam I didn't take part of, but I definitely wanted to. Bracky's Game Jam 2024.1. 803 entries in this one. It's a, a big one. Um, theme was What's Behind the Door. And it happened that my friend was taking part, so I thought I'm definitely going to cover this one. Now we're going to start off with his game, uh, where the character is quite reminiscent of this guy here. Now you're someone trapped in purgatory, and if you wish to leave the realm, you must cleanse your soul at the three fountains. It's a, um, off you go. Now the theme obviously behind the door, so this is it in action here. Now it doesn't have much sound effects and music, but it does have beautiful animation. And I even noticed these nice 3D shadows on the 2D sprite. Um, from time to time, you'll see that the sprite does clip um, into the objects, but still very nice. So, I mean, a bit of refinement um, would be really cool. And in the background, you can kind of make out some of these fountains. Um, I managed to find two in the end. Um, now, the level's mainly just platforming. Um, these kind of guardian demons uh, come in. And so you can see more of him a little bit further on. Um, in the back, obviously, yeah, it's just doing the, the playthrough of uh, kind of what I got up to. Here we'll get to see one of these demon attacks. Um, so up here, jumping, and then demon's coming. Now what I found is the demon does a little bit of a knockback or stuns you while you're jumping. And so... Um, I let it bite me because there's no way of defeating them. Obviously, it'd be nice to have that um, kind of um, way of escaping them. All you really can do is outrun them or let them bite you, and then they come back um, to get you. Um, and as I said, like my earlier plays, like they caught me midair and uh, so forth, which was a, a, a bit frustrating, uh, but very nicely animated. Um, now another thing I noticed is obviously like when you're hitting these fountains and things, there could be a bit more feedback for the um, player. Um, kind of like what I'm doing with the camera angles here where it kind of zooms in. Um, so, um, but pretty solid game there um, by Gilded Hut Studios. And my friend Joshua did it. Um, so really cool. Um, and like I say, I wish I took part. And the theme's all around doors. So like obviously this door that unlocks when you get to the three fountains is the, the main kind of bit following the theme there. Now next up, um, we've got one with a, um, a bit more music uh, focus. And it was uh, a little bit interesting because um, uh, oh, it took me a while, you'll see, like to kind of get the feel for it. It's called Boom Squad. And... Um, the way it links through the doors is you are the one who knocks. Kind of like playing on John Wick. Now one thing that did throw me off uh, was this car. <laughs> I kept on pushing F to get in and so that message probably should have like a boolean or something to say hey I finished the mission, get in. Because F did not do anything but eventually I figured my way out. I kind of kicking in the door and you get these cool kind of stylized bullets and stuff. Now what was especially fun is the explosive bullets and the kind of havoc you make to kick the doors. Um, so it was pretty uh, fun. This run here you'll, you'll get a better idea. As I kind of got a feel for the controls a little bit. Uh, the enemies were a, a, a little bit interesting and their bullets kind of hang around a bit as you can see. Uh, but it was a very cool uh, style. Now ammo did become a concern, so that's why they're dropping their lots of ammo on the ground. And I guess behind the door, you know, theme, kicking in all these doors, trying to find these briefcases and enemies. Uh, pretty cool. Oh. Alright, let's go find this briefcase. I didn't kick the table, but I imagine you kick it forward, but I did use it as a kind of shelter. But I noted that only some of the enemies really are mobile. A lot of them are kind of stationary, kind of gun turret kind of uh, deals. Now that's actually the suitcase for the mission, but I decided to continue on having a bit of a nose. Um, and then I realized I needed the briefcase to escape. Cool music, um, nice effect, very um, 
good, you know, enjoyable with the gun and the effects and um, the kind of overkill made it a, a lot of fun. Uh, so I thought this was a pretty cool one. And definitely in music um, makes a big difference. So these ones with good music and sound, you can see how much they, they add. Now obviously I got in the car there and I'm away. Just while we're looking here, I'll just get the details on the, the game. Uh, let's see. Boom Squad by Diego Renio. I'll just see what other um, games, so like how experienced the speed is. Uh, oh yeah, quite a decent offering. Uh, let's see, I've got eight games up. This looks like... Um, probably quite a step up from the other game, so great job there mate, great job. So yeah, although the bullets are like really cool effect, it's obviously there's probably the main thing to work on, and then beyond that you're kind of a running enemy. Um, but lots of fun for a nice, simpler kind of design. We got a blaze of glory here. Ugh. Now lobotomy, now this was an interesting one. Didn't quite know what to expect going in, um, other than a lobotomy obviously. It's called Lobotomy the Quiet Pill. And this one's by Surgeon21. And it looks like it's his uh, first game on... Um, a chayo at the very least. They start off with these really scaled up doors, <laughs> which is odd, and then there's like, you kick them, and then there's, oh, there's another door, and there's these weird blocks. And you kick this, and then, funnily enough, you find a pistol, which is like, sweet as, we've got a first person shooter on our hands. Now, the scaling of the, the doors is probably the most weird thing, and as you have <laughs> fell out the level the first time, return to the endless sea. So, I what I had to do to kind of get my head around it is that Dug out my lobotomy kit, and then um, had a go at it. Obviously, my wife wasn't very impressed. But going back, I kind of went into it with a whole new kind of um, outlook, and it's actually really fun kicking in these doors. Now, I mean, it really is all the gamers, and <laughs> there's lots of these little blocks that then kind of reward you with these pistols. But the weird thing is, you don't run out of ammo. So you kind of got unlimited doors to shoot, and then you got unlimited guns to pick up. So it's a real oddball, um, <laughs> but the lobotomy really helped. And then if you look up on the ceiling, there's doors up there too. Uh, so <laughs> what's behind the door? I guess either a fall to your death, or a, a little block with a pistol on it. Um, probably to make it better, obviously the scaling probably needs a little bit of adjustment because it's certainly very confusing especially when you start off in a square of them but it does become fun and uh <laughs> and interesting <laughs> i don't know what else to say enjoy all right the late shift um, so this next one is a very horror-focused uh, game. This one here is by Joystick. And let's see what Joystick's back catalog's like. Oh, only one game on itch as well. So it'd be good to know a little bit more about this uh, creator. Now it's very spooky and sound orientated. Um, kind of go around opening doors and you've got your torches. Now your torch can highlight the um, enemy creatures which kind of triggers them to come after you, meant to kind of find a, a hidey hole or, or stay still perhaps to stay away from I didn't quite get my head around it. Um, in time I did find this uh, door um, where you can enter the code um, and there's meant to be numbers hidden around. I had quite a big explore and uh, sadly I, I don't think I found one number. Um, I found several different looking creatures um, that kind of blip in and out. I think that was the key and I'm not sure because obviously I picked it up so I don't know what would be a locked door or not. 
Oh, something's coming. Oh. So I think up here I find the door in the middle. And I think there's a creature in one of these rooms too that we can just see with the torch. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I was tempting it out, trying to kind of see what it was. Some tentacle creature. Oh. Yes. oh. Now fast play um, through to uh, the code door so you can get an idea of that and then I'll just fi fast play out with some gameplay. Now it does have a really good ambience, it's got a nice pixel art, um, it just probably needs a little bit more um, support and direction around uh, how it's meant to be navigated, especially around finding these numbers because I was trying hard, I was like oh do I have to count these bits of paper or the splats on the floor? I had no idea. Anyway, let's see. I think, oh yeah, this is the door with the codes So We'll have a go at this and then we'll do this fast play. So it needs a uh, code from the numbers that you pick up. Yep. <laughs> All right, enjoy the fast play. Um, effective game. Um, but really it was just kind of like a horror experience because I couldn't really figure out the, the game part of it. Solid job. Understanding the game. 